name, everybody know my name when I come through Don't nobody screaming like you I was having visions with you Doing things, switching lanes in the female with you Then swimming in deep water Save me from my sorrow Swimming in deep Hey y'all, it's your girl Gracie and I'm here today to show you how I got this cow print um, inspired poly gel nil thing that I just did a little sum of something you know I saw a picture on Instagram and I literally just had to had to recreate <laughs> So here I'm just prepping my nails, pushing back my cuticles and basically removing them as well just to get it prepared for when I actually apply the poly gel. So what they wanna talk about. I'm also filing my nail bed just to remove any dirt and oil and it also helps the poly gel stick to your nails better. Here I'm just applying base coat to all of my nails after I finish filing them and I'm gonna cure this in the lamp for 90 seconds. Noticed that sometimes the base coat can be a bit sticky when it's cured so normally I just go in with um, some ethanol or rubbing alcohol and just wipe down my nails. I also scuff the surface area of the base coat just for extra grip. And when picking out your poly gel forms make sure they're slightly bigger than your actual nails just so the poly gel doesn't spill everywhere <laughs> if you get my gist that's all i need to hear because i'm leaving i'm out the door never know more when you see me this is the end because now i know you've been cheating i'm a so here i'm just using the slip solution to form the poly gel until the whoa 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 onto the nail form i just had like the biggest brain fart in the world but yeah so you want the area closest to your cuticle as thin as you can get it so flatten it out with your brush and just pat it down make sure everything's smooth and make sure there's like a little well in the middle just for your c curve don't be afraid to add more poly gel if you need to because the thicker your nail is the harder it will be to break so make sure your nail is sufficiently thick with two c's don't <laughs> Also make sure that you're constantly dipping your brush back into that slip solution because that's going to help you move the poly gel even more. And when doing this make sure that you've got poly gel on the sides of your nail because it's easy to forget or miss it out and you've got chunks on the side of your nail. When applying the poly gel forms onto your nails you're supposed to put it on like pretty much at the cuticle or just before it but because I wanted my nails pretty much the same length but a little bit longer I started it off at the halfway point and I'm gonna go back in and fill it more the cuticle bit 
with more poly gel if that makes sense but i'll show you later on how i do that make sure you're taking your time with this as well because it's easy for the poly gel to slip off the nail and it becomes crooked and you do not want that for yourself when curing make sure you <laughs> sorry why is it taking me so long to take that off uh, when curing make sure you flip your nail upside down in the lamp just so it can cure the underside as well <laughs> stop because i'm really struggling taking these forms off and i feel like the only reason i'm struggling is because i did my right hand off camera oh my gosh wow so here you can see what i was talking about earlier i've gone back in with my right hand already and i've filled in the gaps that i've missed and i'm just going to show you how i do that i just take like a little pea size and use a slip solution just to fill it in and drag it down the nail not the full nail though just like pretty much halfway One thing about poly gel, it's pretty forgiving. So make sure you're taking your time with this because when I first did this, my first try came out so horrible. So make sure you're taking your time. Don't put it in the UV lab until you're 100% ready. Cause when you've killed it, you've killed it. Who knows a peaceful place where I can go to clear my head, I'm feeling low, losing control. My heart is saying leave. The shape I was going for was pretty much square and the forms come out square anyway so I'm just filing down the bit that I added and just sharpening up the shape just so it looks a little bit more, you know, snatched or whatever. I'm also buffing down the nails to take off the shine and make sure it's not that sharp. Just for when I apply my nail polish, I want the nail polish to not slide off. Oh my god, look at that! Look at that shape, honey! I'm sorry, but I normally used to do coffin nails, but now I don't think I can go back. Square is the way, okay? Square changes everything. So I'm using like this nude brown nail polish. I do two coats and i also clean up the cuticle area because it is a bit messy <laughs> because i did this look at like 5 a.m in the morning and i was so tired it took me ages to do and um yeah i got a little bit sloppy at the end so i used acetone to clean up my cuticle just to make it look you know nice and presentable mm -hmm. going back in now with the second coat I 
cannot be asked because look at that nail that is so horrible why did i do that but anyway um i think next time if i was to do a nail look like this i would use gel nail polish instead because it takes so long to dry the these mini cups that i put on <laughs> For the cow print design, I just took some white nail polish and this is so random as well, like there's no specific pattern to this. Just wherever I wanted the white, I put the white on and I laid it on pretty heavy so the white comes through like pretty bright. And then I went in with that black nail polish that you see, you seen before and I just added some little dots and made them different shapes and sizes I'm gonna put a list of all the products I used in the description bar bit but most of the nail polishes and stuff I got from either like Primark or Body Care or Poundland like just bits and bobs that I've had over the years and I've just used it but for the poly gel kit and all the nail forms and all the poly gels I got that from Amazon. I will be putting a li the link that I used to buy it in the description bar and the link for my UV light as well. everybody know my name when I come through. Don't nobody scream like you. I was having visions with you Doing things, switching lanes in the female with you Then swimming in deep water Save me from my sorrow Swimming in deep Just some pieces I knew So why can't I get that for free? Also using this dotting tool to put the black dots on the nail I think you should use something like this or like toothpick because it will help give you precise precise points if that makes sense and I also added some gold flakes randomly about just to you know up my game up the class up the design now I'm playing 
but just to make it look a little bit nicer. <laughs> A mistake I made was adding these flakes to the nails dry so when I added the top coat they moved about a bit but not too much that it ruined the nails but going forward and so you don't make that mistake I would maybe put like a really thin layer of top coat first and then put the gold foil because you can see now that it's moving the the foil so just to you know keep everything sturdy <laughs> I use this cuticle oil for my nails as well and then I just rubbed it in at the end so the nails are pretty much done thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this look I hope you enjoy my voiceover as well this is one of the first voiceovers done and I think I, I'm gonna continue because I enjoyed it <laughs> so this is the finished project thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video Backing up and leaving notes oh. and getting ghosts Tell me who knows a peaceful place where I can go To clear my head, I'm feeling low, losing control